Good morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. Um, well, I don't know what day I'm uploading this, but it's Saturday today, and I'm going sourcing in Boston with my friend Kay. Uh, I'm going to go pick her up in a little bit. I am packaging some sales, um, and I'm going to grab a Starbucks. I've been like on this jade citrus tea kick. It's one of my favorite teas that Starbucks has, so I'm going to get a venti jade citrus tea, uh, maybe get some some breakfast of some sort. I have snacks, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to head into Boston and yeah, spend the day there. Kay has never sourced in, Bos in Boston, so I am going to be her tour guide today and probably stop along the way and eat some really delicious food. So um, I'm going to take you guys along with me. It's kind of like a thrift, thrift with me slash vlog slash a little bit of everything. So yeah, let's go get the day started. All right, we're in line at Starbucks. I'd show you, but there's a bunch of cars in front of me. I don't want to show their license plates. So uh, I'm going to get a tea, my favorite tea ever, the Jade Citrus Venti Tea. Love it. Um, and we're going to get a one of those little egg white things. I think the kale and mushroom ones. We're going to do that. We're going to stop at the post office. And then we're going to head up to where Kay lives and go get her. Very exciting. Okay, we just left the post office. I am going to enjoy some of my egg bites before I head up. Um, yeah, I didn't, I've had really slow sales lately. Like, didn't have sales for three or four days. So I only had three packages to ship out today, but that's okay. That's all right. Things are going to pick up. Things are going to be okay. We're still consistently doing things. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Oh, no. <laughs> here we go. All right. Hey, here we are. I am here with Kay. Hi, Kay. Hi. Uh, we just went, th we're thrifting in, in Boston, outside of Boston, in Boston. We're going in Boston now. Um, we have had a pretty good experience so far today. Would you agree? Yes. <laughs> this is Kay's first time thrifting in Boston. So we are just kind of going through each store that I normally go to, kind of showing Kay the ropes. We just left one of my favorite stores. Um, and we did really well. I got $20 off. Kay got a steamer. Yep. And John, Johnny was. Yeah. It's our first time finding Johnny was, right? Is it your first time? Uh, Second time? Third time. Third time? Yeah. So we're trying to just get the brands that we normally don't find near us. Um, Kay's about to experience the Goodwill in Boston. So be prepared. I'm going to try to get footage in there. I'm not good at these thrift with me's to like take you along and do footage and all that because I get in the zone. I don't want to. But I'll do a haul at the end. Okay, we'll do a you haul gotta too. do the haul. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get going to Boston. Bye. back home um i'm exhausted it was a long day it is currently 7 46 at night we started the day at eight o'clock so it's been a full day of sourcing uh, my makeup's all off my face I look like a, i'm all red whatever so we are just going to do a haul now because if i don't do it now i'm not gonna do it tomorrow so i figured I just sit down with you guys and show you what I got. I went to three different locations, got lots of really great things, got some pieces that are really unique and I'm really excited about. Um, so we're just gonna dive right in. There's four bags, <laughs> so bear with me. Um, total, I spent right around 300, 310 in that range. Uh, so at the end, I will share with my average cost of goods was for this trip. We're gonna start out with probably my favorite piece that I found today. One of my favorite pieces that I found today. I shouldn't say it's the favorite piece, but it's an anthropology um, piece. 
I don't know how to say this. I think the worst the anthropology. Elevens. Elevens? I don't know. Um, that's this is an old label. And the only reason why I grabbed it is I never grabbed this brand. Is look, just look at this piece. It is beautiful. Let me bring this in. Look at the texture, the print. It is just, it's something else. And um, it was $20. And I typically don't pay up, right, for this kind of stuff. Um, like the leather is wearing a little bit here, but like nothing crazy. Um, but I just couldn't say no to this. Um, it's a rare piece, I guess, by anthropology. When I did a little research, uh, it's a rare piece. It was featured either in a show or in a movie or something like that. So, and they were listed for like four hundred, five hundred, six hundred dollars. I don't like. I don't know if that's really what their value is. But either way, it looked promising, and it's a really unique coat. Even though like the leather is starting to peel in a couple of places, it's fine. It's like one of those unique pieces that people look for. So I'm excited about that. Um, next up, this, these, these were fun. There's two of these in here. Let me grab them. This is Good American. They're new with the tag. Let me just, yep, new with the tag. They are a shoulder pad bodysuit. Never seen that before, um, but there's two of them. So there's one in black. And then there is one in this orange color so these will be fun um good american bodysuits retail for a lot of money and i've never seen a bodysuit with shoulder pads so i just thought that was really unique and because they're new with tags um i thought it was a good pickup does it say how much they retail for i feel like when i did a quick google search um they retail for like a hundred dollars which is wild that a bodysuit could retail for that much money but that's that's what i saw next up we've got a nice leather good here oops popping tags as we go along um it is a leather skirt from jill sanders so typically i send jill sanders to the railroad but this is going to stay with me we're going to list this leather skirt ourselves it's got Oh, no, no, but that was damaged. It's not damaged. So we're going to list that guy ourselves. Oh, let's do this one. Now, if you have been following me for a while or you've listened to the podcast for a long time, you know that um, when I first started reselling, I came across this brand and didn't realize that what it was. I had never heard of it in this format, not knowing that it is vintage. So, I found her berries, and it is a trench coat. I believe it's men's, um, just by the way that it looks and feels. The only thing with this is it has a couple of stains right there. See, it's so tiny. I was thinking about dry cleaning it, but then another part of me was like, just sell it as is, and whoever gets it can dry clean it. Um, but yeah, so go back to the story, right, Daniela? I was, my first started reselling was looking at coats and I came across Burberry's and I looked at it and I looked at it and I was like, Burberry's, what's Burberry's? It's, that's not Burberry. And I, and I didn't pick it up. And then when I later realized what it was, I kicked myself and I've kicked myself every single day since, cause I've never found it again until today. So I'm excited about this. I'm, I'm probably going to list it as is. Oh, here it is. Found them. Little stains right there. See that? So, I mean, I could dry clean it, spend the however much it's going to be between $16 to $20, and then sell it, which is doable um, because of the return that I could get on it. But at the same time, I don't know if I want to invest that time and money into it. So I might try listing it as is and then just tell the individual who purchases it. I'll put it in the description, you know, that they could bring it to the dry cleaner to try to remove the stains. I don't know. We'll see. What would you guys do? Would you list it as is or would you get it dry cleaned? Let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think you would do if you were in this situation. Uh, ooh, these are fun. These, I want 
to keep for myself, but I really have no reason to keep these. These are free people shoes. How fun are these shoes? They just need a little cleaning down here. They're size 39. They have like this velvet, they're silver metallic and then they have like this velvet patchwork that comes through. Um, they're, in, they're in really good condition. They're just, they just need a little cleaning. Size 39, I'm not even gonna try them on because if I do, I'm gonna end up keeping them. So we're gonna sell those. Um, they were also fry boots and some other boots at this store today that I probably would have grabbed, um, but I just wasn't feeling it. I, I don't know what it is. I just, I wasn't in the mood to pick up fry boots. I was really just looking for specific things and trying to pick up pieces that um, I don't already have in my inventory. Um, and this being one of them. So this is a Fly London boot. So here's the Fly London symbol in case you've never seen Fly London. It's a little bug. Uh, they have a little side zipper here. They're in really good shape. I just gotta clean the bottoms a little bit. They're a little dirty. I don't know what size they are, which probably should have done better research on that. Oh wait, it's right up here. Just kidding. They're a 30 something. It's all worn. A 36. They are a 36, which is what I figured. But yeah, so they, this is, these were nice. These were $19.99, but the return on them will definitely be worth it. Um, where do I go to next? Oh, let me show you a piece that just came in from the Real Real. So I've been sourcing on the Real Real, and I just happened to throw this in the bag as I was coming upstairs to film this. And this is one of the pieces that just came in from the Real Real. Can you just look at this? I don't know if the detail is even gonna come up on here, but it almost has like a has like a metallic thread up here. And then it's got this beautiful embroidering down here. This is Love Moschino, Moschino, however you wanna say it. Uh, and it's new with tags. I paid $20 for this piece on the Real Real. It was marked down. I thought it was so cute and it's perfect going into spring and summer. So. This was an exciting find. I just happened to have it in the bag, so I showed you. I have like four more pieces coming from the Real Real. I've been sourcing a lot on there. I've been filtering by new with tag, so it's been really fun to pick up new pieces, um, or new pieces to me too, not just new with tag pieces. Um, things I don't generally find around me, so that's been a lot of fun. Let's go to this one. We'll save the Goodwill bag till the end because it has the most stuff in it. This is a new to me brand, but my friend Kay, who was with me today, told me that she heard Jack and Ryan talk about this brand before and it looked decent when I looked it up and the price was only $5.99. So it's called um, The Ragged Priest and it's very grunge and I'm, I'm here for it. It's got these fun belts on the side, this neon green check pattern with the zipper in the front. Kind of love it and I really have been excited to experiment with it really. Uh, I had never heard of it before. So Give it a shot, why not? The price point was good. Next up is just good old Kate Spade, nothing fancy here. Gingham print, sheath style dress um, with the V-neck. It's a nice little career wear piece. So we got that, a lot of dresses, a lot of dresses today uh, in general. I, For someone who never likes looking at dresses, I buy dresses all the time now. I don't know what it is. But when I go sourcing, I tend to just guarantee towards the dresses. Um, this is a collaboration piece with H&M. And um, I've heard that a lot of collaborations with H&M do really good in the resale market. And this was one of them that seems like it does really well. This is Morrison Co. Um, and H&M. The pattern on it is really pretty. That's really what sold me on it. Just a mini style dress. Um, the and so when I looked up this collaboration, there were some pieces that were reselling for like $65, 75 $85. So if anyone out there has a video on H&M collaborations and their resale value, let me know because I would love to watch it and learn more about it. Um, yeah, that was, I was surprised. But when I saw the collaboration, I was like, you know what, let me just, we're just gonna look it up for good measure. And we're gonna see. This is, I found two Max Mara pieces today, and this is the first one. This is S by Max Mara. This is their diffusion line. It's like the less expensive Max Mara line. Um, it has this pretty little belt here that goes around it. Again, career wear piece. So that dress I'm probably gonna send to the real world. I don't think I'm going to 
sell it myself. And the price was $5.99, so I feel confident that they'll be able to sell it there and not me. Um, this is a brand I've picked up before. It's called Oak. I've picked up um, paper bag, pleather, faux leather pants before, but these were leggings and they're like equestrian riding leggings. I don't know. I was going to try them. The brand has a fairly high resale value, so I think it'd be worth trying. We'll see. It could be a, a total flop, but they were $2.99, so it can't hurt. Uh, next up, oh, this is a brand that I hear people talk about all the time. Untuck It. I've never found it, and I ventured into the men's section, and I found a button-up, and I figured I would give it a shot. I don't generally sell a lot of men's. It's just not really my wheelhouse. But I'll give anything a try at least once. Uh, okay, two more things left from this particular store that we went to, and then we'll go off to Goodwill and, like, cranking these out. <laughs> this is a new-to-me brand. It is called Matt and Nat. It is a vegan leather handbag. So pretty. Loved that. I had never heard of it, but apparently has a really good following, and the, re the resale value is very good. Uh, next up is a bag that I need to rehab just a little bit, and it is a Rebecca Minkoff bag. So here's the front. Perfect for spring and summer. Very pretty. And then I'm going to turn it around, and you're going to see what I, I need to clean up. So I need to clean all of this up. All of this is a Rebecca Minkoff right there. Um, the rest of it is fine. It's just that the interior is perfect. Yeah, you can't you can't really see that but it's perfect um so i just need to clean this up a little bit and i think this will come right out it looks like it's just dirty so we're going to try with some other conditioner some cleaner see so if we can get that looking nice she's cute she's real cute i spotted her from a mile away it was facing this way and all i saw was this and this is like a clear indicator to me like that's probably rebecca minkoff go look at it and it was i can spot rebecca minkoff very distinct look to her, hand, her handbags. Um, and this next piece is not anything exciting, I guess, in terms of brand, but really cute. Um, when I first saw it, it looked like a Chloe bag to me. <laughs> it's not Chloe. It's actually J. Crew. Isn't that adorable? Such a pretty bag. Interiors in really good condition. It just reminded me of Chloe. There's just something about it that I think it's the handles. It reminded me of a Chloe bag and J. Crew handbags are beautiful. The leather, the construction of them, they're really, really great. And they do typically resell for a decent amount. So we grabbed that bag as well. Let's move this over here, move right along to the Goodwill items. I found some really fun pieces at the Goodwill. Super fun pieces. Okay, let's start off with probably the cutest print ever. This is Eloquy, which I don't pick up a lot because it's usually overpriced, but it is a beautiful size 16 fit and flare dress. It has this really pretty pattern. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Do you know what that is supposed to be? I have no idea, but it's really pretty and I couldn't say no to it for $7.99. It's a size 16, great size. So we got that. Um, next, we got this new with tag theory piece. Just a basic tank top here, but it was new with tag, so couldn't say no to that. Tank tops were $2.99, I believe, so no brainer. Oh, this is a fun brand. This is new to me. Let me know if you've heard of it. It's called Utility Canvas. It's me in the USA. When I looked up this brand online, first of all, it has a big following, but oh my God, they retail for a lot. And I was, as soon as I saw this, it intrigued me. I was like, oh, that looks really neat because it's got a utility style to it, right? And um, that's really big right now. And I like to pick up things that have a utility feel to it or have like a painter's smock kind of feel. It's very lagging look. And I just, I like that look. Uh, so yeah, this is new to me. Have you heard of this brand? Utility Canvas? Seems pretty good. I think it's cotton. I didn't even check. I'm pretty sure it's cotton. I don't know. It doesn't say. Feels like cotton. That is my guess. That it is cotton. So we're going to give that one a try. 
Um, another great basic piece here. We have marine layer. This is the striped pencil skirt in black and cream. Retailed for $64. It's just a little nautical style skirt here. Great for the summer. I had a lot of light colored items that I picked up today. I just think I'm, it was so warm today. It was like 60 degrees in Boston. So I just think I was in the spring mood. Picked up a lot of colorful things or light colored things. Last time I went to Boston, I found this brand. Um, and here she is again, the Seville Row, London. Here's the tag. I found a blazer last time, a men's blazer. This time I found a woman's, um, would you call this a vest? It's like a long vest. I don't know how you would describe this. Um, I don't know the terms. I need to know my key terms for this, but it's really neat. Uh, it is linen, I believe. Yep, it is linen and polyester, which the inside is polyester. The outside is linen, so I'm excited to try that out. Um, oh, here's our other Max Mara piece. Weekend Max Mara, again, a diffusion line. But she's cute. She's perfect for spring and summer. She's in really good condition. It's got one little stain somewhere but right down here. Just going to spot treat it. See that? Little Tide pen. Be good to go. Um, this, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to send it in. I might. The Max Mara dress, I'm definitely going to send in. Um, this, I might try to sell myself first. Just because it's so adorable. And it gives me Chanel vibes. So to be determined on what we're going to do with that one. To be determined. Moving right along. This is a brand I haven't found in a very long time, but it's Capulet. Can you guys see that? Capulet? It's, uh, I don't think it's a Revolve brand. It might be, but it's like a Revolve style brand. And it's pretty polka dots. This brown satin-like feel to it, but it's polyester. Little mini dress. I don't think I have a single dress that is brown in my closet. And I love polka dots, so no brainer. Good brand. Resale really, really varies on the piece. I've only sell, sold Capulet once, and I think I sold it for like $90. But it was a boho style piece, and at the time, it was right around festival season. So it sold for good money. Here we have an and other stories. It's just a lavender button up. Um, it feels really nice. What are you made out of? In case you can't tell, fabric content is very important to me. It's cotton, so it's 100% cotton. Nice lightweight purple lavender button up. Classic piece. Probably get like 35 to 40 on that, give or take. Always exceptions to the rule. <laughs> Oh, this piece is for me, so this doesn't count, but it's an Eileen Fisher piece, and I just thought it was really pretty. Not that I need to add another sweater to my collection, because I absolutely do not need to, but I just liked the, the color, and then it's got this leather patch on the back. Ah, I really liked it. It would be nice for work, or to just lounge around in, to be quite honest with you. I don't know what this is made of. I just liked it and went with it. <laughs> Um, it is merino wool, it is yak, and then the leather patches. This will probably resell for quite a bit of money. So once I get sick of it, which will be never because it's a neutral based color, I could resell it. But for right now, it's going to go in my closet because it's nice and lightweight. And this is like the perfect time to wear something like that, where I don't want to wear a jacket maybe. So I wear a little bit of a heavier sweater, but not too heavy. New England life, friends. New England life. Um, this is the first time I found this brand. It is Hobbs London, and this is a blazer. Uh, don't know what the real, real prices this at, but if it prices at a good amount, I will send it in. If not, I will try to sell it myself. Uh, the brand seems to resell for $75 to $200, depending on the style. Give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Only paid $4.99. Can't hurt. This is a Zara dress. It is super pretty. Love it. It's got a little tie here too. It is new at tags. Uh, it looks like it retailed for $69.90. So I don't know if this is a blogger favorite. I don't know. I didn't do any of that kind of research. 
Um, typically when I go to Boston, I just buy what I like as long as the price is good and I have a good idea of what the resale is on that piece and kind of go from there. Um, I don't, I don't do a lot of research. I actually, I haven't been doing a lot of research over the last few months. I've just been kind of winging it and having fun and not putting so much pressure on myself. Um, understanding what the brands are, of course, but like not necessarily looking at every single piece and trying to find exactly what it's going to go for. I'm just, I get an idea and I just kind of go with it. So it's actually been more fun to resell that way. Another new to me brand, and it's called Savannah Jane. And the only reason why I even grabbed this off of the rack is because I thought it was Johnny Was at first because of the pattern. See, that's very pretty. And then it, I realized it wasn't Johnny Was, and I saw the tag, and I was like, oh, this is a really interesting tag. It's a cloth tag. It's stitched on the top and bottom there. It's like a, again, wagon look. Very flowy. Very Johnny Was. It's not like, I think it's like a boutique brand. Um, I don't know. So if you know Savannah Jane, let me know. Is it a boutique brand? That's the kind of vibe I was getting. And um, the resale is like 40, 45, 35 in that range, but... I thought it was really cute and the price point was really good. So we're going to give that a try. Start the story with, I don't generally ever pick up Betsy Johnson. But when I do, it's a bridal shoe. And these, I don't think were ever worn by the bride. Um, and they're beautiful. They're, they're really pretty. I mean, you don't have to wear this as a bridal shoe, but that's what this is made for. So this blue label, it appears of, is sold at David's Bridal for Betsy Johnson. And I thought they were really pretty. And, you know, maybe wedding season is happening this year. I don't know. But either way, these are really pretty and someone needs them in the closet. So I grabbed them. And they were in really good condition. There's one little mark right here, which I think I can get out very easily. If not, just disclose it. Not a big deal. Um, next up, is, again, a shoe brand that I don't generally pick up. But these are fun and worthy of being in my closet. Uh, they're just Rebecca Minkoff in really great condition. They're a round toe pump with a very high heel that I would never wear. Uh, yeah, so those are the two shoes that I got at the Goodwill. That's it. They didn't have any of the shoes that were worth me really looking at or anything. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, two things. That's all that's left in here. Okay, this can go by really quick. It's like a half hour. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, this is just uh, the group Vabaton, just a button up. No, nothing fancy, just an easy sale there. 35, 45 in that range. And then the last piece, my most exciting, one of my most exciting finds uh, of the day, because I have not found this brand in a very, very long time, and I have never found it in this beautiful print. It is the Nines by Hatch. So Hatch is a maternity brand resales and retails for quite a bit of money. Look how pretty this is. Such a pretty dress. Love, 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 love. Uh, very excited. As soon as I, I, so I went by this dress twice actually. And all I saw was the nines. I wasn't reading the full label, but I kept going back to it. I was like, that's just so pretty. Let me look at it. Let me like really look at it. And then I saw by Hatch and I was like, you fool. You have walked by this so many times and it is such a good brand. Um, I have no idea what this will resell for. I know that when I sold a plain black, like jersey knit dress by Hatch, it sold for over $100. So I have no idea what this would sell for, but I'm excited to experiment and to try it out and to photograph all the stuff. I really, it's really not that much stuff. I really contained myself this time when I went. Um, but let's, let's do a grand total of what our average cost of goods was. All right, so we spent $331, so a little more than what I said in the beginning, so I apologize, $331. We had 31 pieces, pretty good, and uh, $10 of our average cost of goods. I dig it, and a couple pieces are mine. So not bad, this is probably the least amount of money I've ever spent going into Boston. Not mad about it. I did, I did really well. I got some really great pieces and I'm excited to photograph them, which I'll probably do tomorrow. 
And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this. I apologize. Like I am just not able to do thrift with me's right now. I'm like in the zone when I go thrifting. So like I start, like, I have really good intentions and I start to do a thrift with me. And then halfway through it, I'm like, I forget this. I just need to source and I need to get out. Um, so I, I hope you liked some of the footage that I got. And I know Kay got some footage too. So I'll make sure to link her video once she posts hers. I don't know when she's going to be posting her video. So I'll make sure that I link that down below when she does. Uh, so either go to Kay's channel, which is Passports and Pizza Pies. All right, guys, I will see you um, again this week with a collab video with a special someone. So uh, check back, I believe, on Wednesday of this week. There'll be another video for you, and it's another haul. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye.